for Gaffer, thanks for joining us on Latics TV. Firstly, now that just has settled, how are you going to reflect on Tuesday's game against Power Line Night? Um, yeah, still pleased with a lot. Um, I think maybe the two most critical things would be when we have that many chances, we, we have to be more ruthless. Um, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's, that, I spoke about that after the game, so that would be the one. And the other was just after they scored. I'd say for about the next 20, 25 minutes, we, um, we turned the game into what it became, really. It became a bit end-to-end. -end. Either team could have won it. Uh, and then we grabbed control back the last 10. I think we have to... And I think we will. I think we'll evolve as the season goes on. We're, even when there's negative moments, there's a mistake, there's a goal, we still have to trust how we're playing. Because when we get that right, we uh, yeah we're a decent team. The team is still at the infancy of, of their starts of the season, only, only three games in. So I guess the, the encouraging thing, thing for you as well is they're only going to get better as, as the season progresses. I hope so. Um, yeah, that's the that's the plan. I think uh, they've definitely with the results. Yeah, probably ahead of where I thought we'd be in the first few weeks. Um, but yeah, we just have to keep improving. There's things we we can we can be better at. We can be better at playing under pressure. When we play through the goalkeeper, we can still improve on certain things. Um, and then a big one in the final third. What I've liked and um, we worked a lot on from last year is we have to try and create more chances and we are doing that. I think the other half of that has to be now. When we create that many, we have to we have to take more. On Tuesday night, one of the, the disappointing things on the evening was that uh, Asgard have you got an update on his condition? No, that comes tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, it still looks a nasty injury, uh, but we'll find out the full extent tomorrow. And in terms of the slot, uh, how's the slot looking for Saturday's game against Wolves? Yeah, pretty similar, obviously, without Tello. Uh, Jordan Jones has had three or four days training again, probably too soon. But I had to make a late call on Josh McGuinness, and uh, I was really happy with his performance uh, when he came on against Carlisle. So he got another couple of days training under his belt. Um, and yeah, apart from Tello, maybe Jordan, I'll make a decision late on. It'll be the same squad, barring uh, obviously those two for the weekend. Josh being back on Tuesday with a massive boost, uh, I thought perhaps in uh, just how much of an influence was he to buy both on off the field? Um, yeah, he's big, big influence uh, on both. Uh, real competitor. Um, yeah, drives certain standards around the, the club, particularly the training ground that I like. Um, and then on the pitch, I really liked what he gave us. Uh, I've relied very heavily on Charlie in lots of games and minutes, early doors. The way Charlie plays, he gives us everything. So there'll be moments where we need to rest uh, Charlie, Josh can come in, form might change. So um, those those two nines, plus Josh Stones as a sort of young one trying to break through, are very important for us this year. Saturday we'll see us travel to, to Baltimore just for a, a derby game. Uh, just how, how excited are you for that occasion to go around? Yeah, it's a big game, uh, but as I was just saying, every game feels big, uh, maybe more so because of obviously the minus eight. Um, I know what this means to the fans. Uh, it doesn't change how I prepare. Um, but I understand if we get a positive result, uh, it will mean a lot to our fans. But as long as we give 100% and we try and play how we want to play, then um, and that's all I can ask from the players. I know the fans will want something, but uh, win, lose or draw, I'll be over there and thank them for the support as usual. Bolton are uh, one of the informed sides in the division. Uh, they've made a really strong start to the season. What sort of challenge are you expecting from them? Yeah, they've been strong. Of watching their games, uh, they, they'll look to play. Uh, they use a back three and a six of so the most important players that they that they have for uh, that build up um, and yeah they play through they've got real um, yeah they've got talented players in that final area so it's a big test without the ball I think they'll come high press us they'll try and take the ball off us as quickly as they can um, I thought that in other games and teams have sat off I've got a feeling Bolton aren't going to do that so um, yeah let's uh, let's see what we've got under the biggest pressure again a really big crowd as well. Over 4,000 fans are expected to make the trip to Bolton. I mean, how magnificent have the fans been at the start of the season, back in the club, home and away? It's been very good. I think uh, they made a really good atmosphere at home against Northampton. But we had people buying season tickets, I mentioned it before, when uh, when we didn't know we'd exist. So, um, yeah, I'm very aware of trying my very best to give them to give them a happy or give them a, a happy weekend, a win. So, um, they have been very good. Uh, the way fans have been incredible. Derby was as good as anything I'd seen with Wigan, really is. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'll try my best to give them uh, a positive weekend. I imagine as well, with, with so many fans behind you, they'll make a massive difference in what's set to be a big game for us. Yeah, yeah, they always do. Uh, yeah, it's a big game, but um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how we 
yeah, look how we call pipe possession. And then again, similar to Derby, I think this will be uh, one of the biggest, uh, I think Derby was a really big crowd. Bolton will be the same. So under the most pressure, I really want to see how, look, we've got young, we've got a young team, eh? we've got kids. So um, let's see how we do. And finally, uh, tickets got sell for tomorrow's game at free game on Friday. Still a thousand tickets available. What would be your message to the fans who are thinking of coming to the game to back the boys? Uh, I can't ask any more of them. Um, I know it's an expensive thing to travel up and down the country, watch your team, so uh, I don't worry about who's not there. Uh, yeah, whoever's made the decision to come, yeah, I appreciate the support and uh, yeah, it's a big motivation the support here. So um, yeah, whoever's bought the tickets, appreciated and they know I'll be trying my very best to give the team the best preparation they can and uh, yeah, let's see what we've got.